Hi everyone, <laughs> welcome back to Viv Mom Sews. I would love to say one thing before we start. This man right here, not only did he comment on my video, he has been chatting with Colin. We are so excited. Norris Danta Ford knows we exist. <laughs> And we are so pleased that he got in touch and thank you, Mr. Ford. I am in awe of your work. Today I'm going to show you, oh, sorry to stand and bob and weave. I was trying to get my top in here so that you could see it. It is a Vogue Coco Beal. The number is 7272. This top right here. I made the skirt as well out of a blue linen. This little pegged skirt, love it. Today I just have this styled with some cropped jeans and sandals. It's a little cooler outside and feeling wonderful. So, uh, you know what we're here for today? We're here for the crimping. And I just so happen to have a dress on my sewing table. Now this one kind of looks like the other one behind me, but they are different. This one is Simplicity 5850 from 1973. And this is a dress that my mom sewed back in the 70s. So here I am. I am making it and we are right to the point where the sleeves need to go on. So it is perfect timing to show you my little crimping demo. There are some wonderful ones on YouTube, so check those out as well and we'll get right to it, okay? Hold on. Okay, we've got our sleeve. You can tell that it's got a very pronounced hump here that we need to ease into the armhole. There is a marking here at the top of the sleeve. To mark that, I'm just going to cut out a little snip, and then I know that that is the very top of the sleeve. You'll note here that this being a 1973 pattern, there's a sleeve dart. So I'm just gonna cut little notches there where the dart legs go, and I'll mark that spot and make my darts. Again, we're working on Simplicity 5850, putting in these long sleeves. After I make the dart, I'll be back to crimp. Our fabric has been placed under the presser foot at the 5 8 inch seam line. I kind of place mine a tiny bit inside that seam line. Also, you'll want to have some thread tails, okay, to start with. And then you're going to put your machine on the basting stitch. So for me, I'm going to ramp my stitches up to, oops, that goes beyond five. Oh, okay, well, I didn't know that, but I put that one on five and I put that one on five. So that is my basting stitch. We come back here to crimp. You are going to take one common household finger and you are going to place your finger behind the presser foot. You're just going to sort of anchor it there. You begin sewing. and you do not move your finger. You feed the fabric through, and you hold on back there. Normally, I would be feeding this fabric with my other hand, but I'm filming. When you have a lot back there and you can't really hold it very well, let it go and you can see that it's starting to crimp. 
So you place, you replace your finger and you begin sewing. Fabric will feed and you're forcing a lot of stitches into a small spot. You let it go and you have more crimping. Now we're going to do it again. We're going to do it about three or four times until we get around to that other notch. So just keep your finger anchored and let it go. Start again. Keep your finger anchored. Um, mine is getting a tiny bit crooked because I can't really guide it, but that's okay. You can see that that fabric is bunching up there and that's what you want. When you reach the end, I'm here at my other notch, don't cut. Just raise your presser foot and remove your sleeve and keep a tail on it. And cut the tail and I'll show you what it looks like. Bearing in mind that I could not guide my fabric, my stitch line is not very even, but you can see how the fabric has been gently gathered and shaped. It's beginning to be shaped like your shoulder. See that? And so that makes it so much easier to insert the sleeve into the armhole. You get the same effect with gathering with the two lines of uh, basting and then pulling them to fit, but there's something about crimping that just kind of makes that perfect little arch that you need to put the sleeve into the armhole. So I hope that helped. It was very rudiment rudimentally filmed. Can't talk. Hold on. Okay, I'm off to insert some sleeves. I put the underarm seam in this one. You can see that I have a beautiful crimp at the top and that should go in quite easily. Come back and see what I end up with. Thank you for supporting my channel and watching. We'll be in touch soon. Have a great day. Bye.